guys. So I'm vlogging and it's, let me show you the time right now. <laughs> it is 4.43 in the morning. <laughs> um, we've been up since, uh, what time? 2.30 is when I called the cops, so probably 2.00. So I think we've been up since two. We went to bed at like 11 because we're old people. Um, and we were woken up in the middle of the night with a loud noise. And I didn't know what that was. I didn't know if somebody was in our house or what was going on. Anthony got up and I looked so out. scared. <laughs> Anthony got up and looked at our, out our window um, and looked down into our front yard and there was a car in our yard. Yeah, pretty sure it wasn't there this morning. Yeah. 98% like yeah. sure it wasn't there this morning. Yeah, so, um, I can try and show you guys, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's pretty dark outside because it's four in the morning, but let me try and see if I can show it to you. So it's kind of hard to see. I don't even think you guys can see at all, but the, well, you can see the tow truck just got here. Um, and then there's a car in our yard. You can't really see it, but it's in front of the tow truck. It's basically all in our yard. And then we also have the police here. He's got his lights on. Um, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> basically, this car has been in our yard for a while. Anthony went out and talked to them. Yeah, they're nice people. I don't know why they're driving around at 2 in the morning or why they decided to take an icy curb way too fast. Yeah, so basically our we've been getting a lot of snow and ice lately and our street hasn't been really dethawing at all, so it's still pretty icy. Um, and so... City of Columbus. Yeah, and so we've been pretty careful with it, but obviously these people were not very careful with it. Mm. <laughs> um, and so... So, um, anyway, Anthony went out and talked to them and um, tried to see what was going on, and they said they called a tow truck. We went and called the police. We have never called the police before in the past, so that was a new experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it took about an hour for the police to come. I ended up calling them a second time, like, where the heck are you? I guess they were responding to some robberies in the area. Yeah. So we're feeling real safe. <laughs> Um, and finally the cop came and Anthony was able to talk to him and the cop got their information and their license and wrote a report and then talked to Anthony and... Mm -hmm. Super nice cop, by the way. I mean, super chill guy. Mm -hmm. I asked him for his name and badge number. He's like, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, and the guy basically said that he was going to write a report and submit the report and then... Uh, the insurance company of the person driving should be contacting us to settle a claim, I guess. Um, Does this count as a car accident? <laughs> we're a little worried, though, because Anthony went to go get the people who are driving, get their information. Their insurance policy number. And their insurance policy number, and they didn't have it on them. They swear that they, oh, hey, it's me. They swear that they have insurance, but they didn't have it on them, and the cop wasn't able to pull it up. Um, but there's two big, what did you call it in our yard now? Trenches? <laughs> Trenches, because for about what half hour or an hour, they just kept going back and forth. They would speed up and then get stuck, and then reverse and go backwards and get stuck over and over and over again. Yeah, but except... If they would have been smart and looked at their front tires, because who wouldn't in a car accident? They'd have realized that one's going this way and the other one's going that way. And if you try pushing forward on that, it doesn't really go forward. Right. So, yeah, they, they dug probably about a foot deep hole in our yard. And that's not very aesthetically pleasing. <sighs> yeah. It definitely depreciates our house value. But thankfully the tow truck is here, so hopefully they can get them out. Um, not, didn't think we'd be waking up to this in the middle of the night. I keep telling Anthony it could have been worse. They could have hit our car. They could have hit our house. They could have done a ton of stuff. 
Um, it looks like they did some damage to our neighbor's property as well. Um, we were the ones who called the cop and our other neighbor, our, neighbor actually, our other yeah. neighbor called the cops too. So that was really nice. Um, but we haven't, I mean, our other neighbor who the people did damages to their property as well, they came out once and we haven't seen them since. So I don't know, I don't know if they're going to get their property taken and care of or what, but we are hopefully. Oh, we definitely are. Yeah, we did, we did our due diligence, I think, and the cop was very nice, so. Um, we've never had to call the cops before, so we were... Old Libby of Columbus cops. Road services, mm, cops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, he's very, he was very nice and um, said he read a report and the insurance company should be contacting us. But Anthony said the damages to their car are pretty bad. He said, like, the front axle's broken. Yeah, it's... Their engine's not hurt at all. It's just their front left-hand tire snapped off. Not very good for the car, obviously, but the repair is terrible. I've done something similar when my tire fell off. My axle didn't break, but I've replaced an axle before on my car because it was old. And it it's a day and a half worth of work, but where they're going to go, they're probably going to get somebody to do it for them. It's going to be like somewhere between I'd say three and eight hundred dollars that's a big pretty big range but like I'm thinking probably like five to six hundred dollars for them yeah and you can see the lights um, from the tow truck out our window um, but Anthony said that their airbags deployed and everything so I mean it was a big enough crash for that to happen it's a big enough crash for it to wake us up at Three, yeah. yeah, and I, I was telling Anthony, I'm usually a pretty heavy sleeper. Anthony's a light sleeper, but it even woke me up. Oh, yeah, I'm a pretty light sleeper, except for when I've had three beers that night before. Yes. We, we went out with friends, and to celebrate, go figure, that their friend, you know, um, uh, finished a semester of school, so we were celebrating that. And Shannon DD'd for us because, and follow me here, we didn't want to get in a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Anthony seems to think these people were, or at least little... one of them was inebriated. But, I mean, could have been worse, but it could have been better. They could have not hit us. Yeah. We could have still been sleeping by now. Been but nice. Um, <clears throat> we just wanted to update you guys on our fun adventure uh, <laughs> this, fun. <laughs> this early morning. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> let us know down below, have you ever had something like this happen? Um, Anthony and I have been homeowners for less than a year, and this yeah. has happened. If so, this is any indication <laughs> of how the rest of it's going to go, the, we probably need to move. That's right. <laughs> I think we have bad luck. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's our update. Bye, Brought guys. to you by, I don't even know, something sarcastic. Um... <laughs> My arm hurts. Give me a thought. I have something for this. Wonderful surprises? Yeah. <laughs> happy accidents. There we go. Happy. Brought to you by happy accidents. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, we'll catch up with you guys the next time. Bye, guys. Subscribe. <laughs>